uh, sys key scam or side key scam. Um, it's gonna, what it did was it asked you for, here, I'll pull up an image um, of what it does. And pretty much, this is what it is. It asks for a password when you go to log in. And I read countless articles, watched countless videos, and I still couldn't get this thing to work. And I'm, I'm an IT professional by trade. Um, I work in a lab, but my background in college is IT. So at first I was like, okay, this won't be nothing. It, it'll be super simple. I'll just you know go in, edit a few things, and reset the password. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. So I started doing research. And what I found out was if you go to a website called passscape.com. You don't have to buy it. Um, this is the problem that I ran into. A lot of the videos I watched, you had to buy this or pirate it. It's $65, $345, or $895, depending on what you want. Uh, you can get away with the $65 one, but let's do it for free. So pretty much what you do is you go on the website. It's a free download for the, pro, the ISO, the ISO file. And then they also have a create USB drive ISO file. And all I did was get one of these little USBs. I got a 32 gig laying around. So I was like, you know what? I'll plug it in. Plugged it in, made the ISO file. Super simple. It walks you through it, guys. You find the ISO file, you download it. Bada bing, bada boom. Then I came here. And I was like, all right. So I just plugged it in. And lo and behold, when you reboot the computer, You go, if you go to, oh man, thought I had all this shut off. His button over here is broken, so I can sometimes tell and sometimes I cannot. If, there, nope, it didn't work that time either. I'll just restart it real quick. Oh, there it is. So if I go into setup to go into BIOS uh, and create, they locked it down with a password. Okay, whatever. I don't know the password. My uncle probably did it. Whatever. All right. So I was like, it's, what time is it? It's uh, one o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, man, I really don't want to bu bu bug him and call him. So I was like, what else can I do? Well, luckily on this computer, it had the option to boot into removable and USB and all that. So... I went ahead and I just hit F2, boot options, went down to USB, and let it start. So it was pretty simple because I was able to learn enough through the online community that was, wasn't true about Windows 10. So for Windows 10 and I guess Windows 8, 7, 8, and 10. This is Windows 10, I do believe. Um, I honestly can't even remember, and I just used the thing. Uh, I think it's up, updated, but it could be 8. Um, it, they didn't have some of the options, so I wasn't able to... I didn't want to buy the software. $65, I can do it for free. I can system restore it, but he wanted to keep his files. So what I was able to do was when this pops up... Normally, what you do, you click on Sam, and you come here, and you would reset or delete files. Well, it's not in here. One of the videos showed to delete files. It's not in there. In the free version, it is not in there. And I was like, damn, what do I do? So I chose all of these, and there was one that said, look up Siski. Well, it says cop it copied it to the clipboard. The problem with that is, when it copies it to the clipboard, if you don't realize there is a notepad right here. So you can actually open that notepad and copy and paste it. Or what you can do, the way I did it, this was easier to me, it was more reliable, was I just opened this little gear icon, went to File Explorer, chose English, and I just went ahead and canceled this. I didn't worry about that. Let it open up, and in here, 
you can actually go and find the system so local disk E and I was like alright so I went down the system uh, to Windows I went to system 32 clicked on it and then I was like alright I need to find so I'm in system 32 I've got to find the registry recovery I was like I was thinking I was like where where is it I couldn't remember well it was simple it was in system 32 config and then you got regback right here so this regback file if you let me expand this so you can see it a little better so in here if you take and click right here you can copy select the file so I was like you know what I've got a thumb drive so I copied it to the thumb drive and this is awesome because it you know it says passcape I know which one it is I hit OK and I was like alright start so I copied all files I've already got them in there so I replaced all files there's only four or maybe five files so not very big uh, they're a total of 102 megabytes okay so now that they're copied in here what you want to see is over here you're gonna see system software security SAM and you're like okay well those are what you want to replace so you just come over here to this one click in Passcape, click on Regback, open it up and then we're gonna come right over here and move selected files F6 to the default on E hit OK and replace all and you can do it for each one hit OK replace all hit OK replace all or just replace because it's only doing one at a time I could select them all but I'm being lazy right now and all you do after that is restart the computer and that syskey um, password is gone once you get back into your system though guys you're gonna wanna disable the syskey passcode and all that I'll have more on that once I get my uh, uncle's login I'm not too worried about that but guys this was a easy way to fix this problem it was free once you figure it out it takes like five minutes it, it would if that let's see I've been recording seven minutes I probably talked two in the beginning plus load up times so yeah under five minutes guys so let me just walk y'all through everything so well do a recap I'm not gonna walk y'all through that you just seen it so remember go to passscape.com you can come to product well well product but what we're, we're going to do is go to downloads and you need the RWP, which is right here, reset Windows password. You're going to download the RWP and it's free. And inside the RWP, I'm going to show in folder. It has the ISO burner, so you don't even have to download it. Just double click on that, install, and then take and burn that file onto a CD or USB that you can boot into and make sure you select the right thing and you know um, so I'm gonna go back and I'll show you so right here I'm gonna click create bootable USB disk and then ISO file the location hit next and then whenever it's in there I can select the device and hit next or create well it's actually create and it will ask you a couple questions you just hit next and finish and it up uh, eject it for you that's all you have to do plug it in restart your device F12 or whatever boot option yours is depending on the computer some of them are different but generally it's F12 uh, F, F2 is set up F12 is boot F8 can sometimes be boot and F10 can be boot but for general purpose F12 is the most commonly used so that was it guys it was super simple super easy i hope this video helps you all out if you have any questions go ahead and comment below hit that like button if this helps you out i know i'm gonna have a lot of questions so go ahead guys and hit me with it i'm gonna try to find some more solutions to fix this so definitely stay tuned